It's time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Good morning, or whatever time it is for you and what state or country you're in right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to New Wellness with Dr. Lee. We always have a fabulous show, and I always start it off that way because it is. Um, you're going to hear a, t a powerful testimony of a lady who God healed her body. And that's all I can say, because what she was told was very devastating. And a lot of times we need to hear a person's journey, especially when we're in the middle of going through things. And I, unfortunately, right now deal with so many people with, I like to just use the word abnormal sales. And um, to know that, you know, God is no respecter person. He loves all of us. And as he healed one and healed others, he will do the same for you. Then we have a wonderful chef all the way from Hawaii that migrated all the way here to bring us her wonderful food and her wonderful um, uh, spices all the way from Hawaii. And I am so happy I had a chance to dine out and uh, dine in her, at her restaurant. I was so glad that Maria my co-host for Dining Out Healthy actually visit her restaurant. And I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. So I just want you to kind of just tell everybody who you are, what it is you do. But I want to talk about your past. What brought you to, to California? And why did you get on this passionate journey to do what you're doing with food and healing? Growing up in the islands, I wanted to be you when I grew up. I wanted to really do uh, healing with naturopath medicine, and I was fortunate enough to be with Dr. Traub in his office and to sit with his patients and really learn. And what I realized with homeopathic and plant medicine is that I wanted to go back to the grassroots and really work with the food and yes. work with the children. Uh, I am a mama also. And I find that when you can work with the young ones and teach them how to eat and nourish their, their mind, body, and spirit, and to tap into the divine, right. the biodynamic farming, and how you know, powerful that is. I don't want to stop is. you there, but I am for a minute, because mm -hmm. we're going to get more into your journey. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring in A.C. Williams, mm -hmm. which I know my director is going to kill me right now, <laughs> my producer here. Um, A.C. Williams is also here. And I just want to thank you for being here. And, you know, and actually, we just met less than 12 hours ago. Yes. Less than 12 hours. And when I heard your journey, I said, you have to be here today to share it. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go back to our chef. And she's going to go in much more detail because there's so much to her story and her journey. But A.C. Williams. Yes. Amazing. Let's just start off. And I'm going to let you to tell your testimony that I heard last night. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. I really appreciate it. Um, gosh, where do I start? Six years ago, I was um, planning my wedding. Yes. I had a fiance, and uh, we had just bought a home and everything. And I'm just on this journey, just happy, everything going really well. And, um, and that was just six years ago? That was six years ago. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, six years ago. Okay. We had moved in our house, and one month after that, I found out I had cancer. Um, it was devastating for me because I didn't, I didn't understand why it was happening. Right. I didn't right. understand why it was happening, but when it happened... I just knew God was using me at that moment. Yeah. You, know, you know, and I want you to say that again, mm -hmm. because that's the power, mm -hmm. you know, that I picked up last night when you yes. gave your testimony. You said, when I was diagnosed, I know God was using me. Yes. And so many other people, no, we don't understand because I've had it myself. Yes. We don't understand, but most people don't say that. Mm -hmm. They don't say God is using me at this time. 
-hmm. And that was so powerful. And I want, there's so many people watching the show today. Amen. And I want them to be able to, to take that in for themselves and know this is a journey mm -hmm. that God is using you right now. Amen. And, and it is a journey. It is. It is a journey. Yes. Yes, I want you to. I was, uh, and I was able to write a book about that. Um, two years prior to finding out I had cancer, I was in search for a higher power. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to find myself. So when I found out I had cancer, because I was limping, limping on my right leg, and I didn't know why, mm -hmm. and it finally broke. And I had to go so into So your leg fractured, you fractured, right? Your my right leg, it right just leg. popped. Mm. It just popped. I, I tripped in the street and it popped. So I had to go into emergency and they did all kind of tests and everything and I was in the hospital. So they came and told me, you have cancer. But for some reason, right at that moment, I just said, God, it's getting ready to use me. Oh. I, I don't know where it came from, but I yeah. said that because two years prior, I was in search of God, a higher power. And I was started reading the Bible and stuff. And mind you, I'm, uh, I was raised as a Muslim. So mm -hmm. um, I just felt I needed a higher power. I needed God in my life. So when it happened, I really wasn't devastated. I seriously wasn't. I just said, God's getting ready to use me for something great. I don't know what. But uh, even at that moment, I had mixed messages about it. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I yes. really did. Um, and at one point, I thought I could just cave in and forget about this and just let myself go. Or When I you say let yourself go, you mean just give in to give in the to diagnosis the, and not do anything and not yeah. not fight or anything yeah. you know mm -hmm. it's it's it i was told it's a it's a disease that's not curable yeah okay because it's multiple myeloma so yes. it affects your bones it's in the leukemia family mm -hmm. but at that moment i said you know what i have the power i have the power and i'm gonna fight this yes and i'm gonna i'm gonna be victorious i'm gonna make a difference here something's gonna happen something's going to really come out of this so yes. it's all in the mindset it is i changed my mindset and right away every day was a good day mm. every day was going to be a positive day um i even made sure i dressed up even though i didn't feel beautiful i really yeah. felt like I lost a lot of my self-esteem, even though I, I I felt the higher power. I still didn't feel beautiful. Yes. But I was trying to stay hopeful and positive. Mm -hmm. um, but and I have a lot of patients going through that right now. Yeah. You know, they keep looking in the mirror and, and keep thinking, I, I don't look good anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm too thin. Yeah. I'm too this. I'm too that. And and I and, and it's hard. It's hard when mm -hmm. that c word creeps you know, creep into the brain and you get all this chatter, chatter, chatter yes. about that diagnosis mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. them telling you that you're not going to make it, yes. you know, and this is deadly and give you a death sentence, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and we could become a self-fulfilled prophecy yes. after they give you this, but you chose not to. Mm -hmm. And that's the power Amen. that I want people to know. The power is within you to know, mm -hmm. go deep inside of you and say, you know, I want to live. Amen. I want to live. And that's exactly what And I, I want said. people to really, I mean, write it down. Mm -hmm. I want to live. Mm -hmm. You know, it's powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so powerful. And it's so powerful. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just want people to really resonate with that. Really resonate with it. Right. Just knowing that your life has purpose and yes. you're on a journey. Yes. I realize now I have purpose. Before, I didn't feel I had purpose. Mm. I mean, I had, I was an investor, a real estate investor. I had properties. I had money. I had everything. But I still felt hopeless. I didn't mm. feel I really had purpose. So when all of this happened, it just really changed my whole mindset. Yes. And it just put me on a different path. And where I am now I really feel I have purpose, you know. But just knowing that your life is here, you're here for purpose. Yes. So everything that you're going to go through in life, mm -hmm. it's all for a purpose. Yes. And you're going to get through it if your mindset is right. Being positive is your healing. 
it's what healed me. Yes. The just the, having the right mindset, really. Yes. Just having that right attitude really healed, healed mm-hmm. me. I'm going to get through this. You know, I'm going to get through this one day at a and time. And you said it. You actually said mm-hmm. it. And you, you mm-hmm. brought the healing into the body when you said it. I mean, I, I've seen people will themselves to die. Yes. Because they said, I don't want to be here anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to take anything. I watched the lady got, was so upset with her sister, she just stopped talking. Mm-hmm. And she closed her mouth so hard that her bottom teeth went into her upper lip and stopped eating. And the dentist couldn't even pry her mouth open to even correct the problem. And she she passed away. Mm. You know, so there's power in words, and we know that. And the tongue, there's power in that tongue. But those thoughts, those thoughts can either help you heal Mm -hmm. Or it can turn around and do something totally opposite. Exactly. Especially when you don't have the faith and the belief mm-hmm. that you can heal from this. Yes. That, I mean, and it's, and it's, it's, it's everything in life. We're talking about the C word, but it's like things that you need to do. Things you need to pay a bill. Mm-hmm. You're about to be evicted from your house. Right. All these things, just knowing that there's a higher power mm-hmm. and there's a God to help you through this journey. Because we have loved ones that are sick or something, just knowing. And then knowing what your passion is and asking Mm -hmm. God. So we're going to kind of go into a little bit of your passion. But, you know, oh, I want you to tell what happened with your leg there, too, because that was kind of a little. Yes. um, Well, like I said, um, I really tripped in the street and um, my leg popped. But I really thought it was a hamstring. So honestly, for about two weeks, I was limping on this leg trying to heal it. Cause on I thought your right it was leg, yeah. On my right leg. Mm-hmm. Even though it popped, I didn't think it was anything serious. So after two weeks, it wasn't getting any better. And it was getting worse. And the pain was just getting worse. So finally, I did go into emergency. And when they checked it, they found mass lesions everywhere in my bones it had eaten through my bones because it's my. it's myeloma and it affects multiple myeloma yeah it's yes. pretty pretty devastating yes it is and even though i was told by my doctor it, there's no cure i said i'm cured i'm cured i claim it yeah at that point they think you're kind of you know yeah going through denial and the whole phases of all of that the doctor mm-hmm. felt he says you know when he came into my room he told me i had cancer And right away I said, oh, okay. And he proceeded to tell me what type, Mm -hmm. that it's multiple, it's all through my bones. I said, okay, but it wasn't good enough. So he continued to tell me. I said, you know what? I just threw my hands up. I said, God can have his way with me. I had surrender right at that moment. And I just said, whatever it is, I'm going to go through it, but I'm going to come out of this. Yeah. I just felt I'm mm-hmm. going to come out of this. Yes. I didn't believe that there's no cure. Yes. So I finally went into, after two years of fighting this, I became 230 pounds. I was deteriorating slowly. I was in a wheelchair. I was bed bound. People had to take care of me. But my spirits were still high. I wouldn't let anybody come around me negative. Wonderful. No poor me. I said, no, I'm mm-hmm. going through something. The word is through. I'm going to come out of this. Yes. yes. Through. I'm going to come out of That's this. That's powerful. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And even when I went to get my chemo radiation, they had to put a port in me and everything, I still was girly. I still, my spirit was high. And they didn't understand what was going on with me. You're in denial. I said, no, I have Jesus. Yes. Seriously. So my doctor pulled me to the side. He says, you're going to heal because your attitude is right. It's the attitude. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that made the big difference. So I found myself healing, not healing, but encouraging other people that were going through it. Mm -hmm. Family members. I said, just keep the right attitude. Give God the glory regardless. He says, in the midst of the storm, give me the glory. Give it, yes. For I have a plan for you. Yes. And I just kept reading, and I was in so much pain because my bones would just ache. Mm. Nothing would heal me except by the blood of Jesus. I would just rub by the blood of Jesus. I am healed. I am healed. I'd cry myself to sleep. So, like I said, for two years, 
I'm just going through it. I mean, I had neuropathy too. The nerves in my hands, my feet, everything. I couldn't walk. I was so contracted. But I'm still in good spirits. And look at you I'm now. I'm going to get I mean, look this. at you I'm now. I'm going to get this. It's beautiful. That's ju- Jesus. And you Jesus. said they had to place a rod in your leg as yes, well? Yes. I have a 22-inch rod in my right leg. I have a... So it's still there now? It's still. And matter of fact, after I had my, if I can say this, after I had my transplant at City of Hope, four months later, I went to the doctor to get a um, checkup, mm-hmm. and he said the cancer came back. I didn't claim it. At that moment, I said, I'm done. I'm done with the doctors. I just, I felt I needed to be more proactive and and take my power back. Mm -hmm. And so I did. At that moment, I said, you know, I surrender. I got on the first plane a week later, and I went to Jamaica. I said, I'm going to help some folks. I'm going to take my mind off myself, go help some folks. I did that. I came back. I went back again. And then I trained for a marathon. It took me three months on this Train leg. for a marathon. <laughs> yes. I couldn't feel nothing in my right leg. But I said, I'm going to do this because I have the power. Mm-hmm. And so I trained. I ran it. It took, me, it took me an hour and two minutes to run that 5K marathon. I did. And I couldn't feel nothing. I just said, hold me up. And I'm, I didn't walk at all. I just ran it. And after that, I gave my daughter a baby shower. And... I felt led to go to another doctor. So for six months, I stopped taking anything. After the doctor told me it came back, I stopped taking everything. And I felt led to go to another doctor Mm -hmm. on the seventh month, and I was tested all over again. There was no cancer. So from this point... What a blessing. Oh, my goodness. Since 2012 until now, I haven't been on no medication, period. And I didn't know you had a rod in your leg. I, mean, I missed part of that when you were speaking yeah. <laughs> last night, but I did not know. It's it's still there. When I go through, you know, mm-hmm. elevators and stuff, it goes off. Mm-hmm. But it's there. It's there. But and the way you move around, and mm-hmm. I, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I just God is good. Seriously, it's been it's been it's been a roller coaster, and just going through that, I felt a. I lost a lot of people in my life because when I was going through it, they, I have always been the rock of my family. Mm-hmm. I'm from a family mm-hmm. of 13. They depended on me. Big family. Okay. So when this happened to me, they didn't know how to accept it. And mm-hmm. they just started vanishing, even yes. children and stuff. But, and I was losing my houses, my, my home. Everybody just left. And what about the fiance you were? He left. My fiance walked out on me. My two older kids walked out on me. Oh, I God. lost my properties. I lost everything. It's just it was just me and my twelve year old, and I they had posted it on my door that I had to move. I was in foreclosure. Oh. I had no money. I'm in a wheelchair. I just pulled myself up out of that wheelchair, and I said, "God, have your way with me. Take over. I surrender. There's nothing else I can do." Right. But I noticed once I let go, the blessings started coming two weeks later. Oh, my God. Seriously. Uh, a friend of mine's from three years ago called me. He was a realtor. He was able to save my house. I was able to pay off all my bills, move into a better place. Things are just moving right now because of that. Yes. All because I surrendered. I know when you surrender, then God steps in. But yes. as long as you're trying to figure it out and make it Do work. it yourself. Yes. And I tell sometimes people who come to me, I have a, a, whole, a whole integrative clinic, functional medicine clinic. But I tell them sometimes, it isn't me. You, you're looking for sometimes people, things, objects. Yes. You know, there's so many machines out. you got to go deep inside and know that you know that you know yes. that you can heal. And know that God can heal your body. You you got to go deep mm-hmm. inside mm-hmm. to do this. You really yeah. do. Yeah, I had to do a lot of soul searching, meditation. You know, just my thoughts. We are our thoughts. Yes, we are. And the, everything we think, the minute we get up and we start thinking, we're determining how that day is going to go. Exactly. exactly. So I had to really change my mindset. Mm-hmm. 
and speak good things about myself, regardless to how I felt, how I looked. I still had to speak good things. I'm good. I feel good. I am healthy. I'm powerful. Just affirmation, affirmation. Yes, yes, and every yes. day was another day to part of my journey, getting me where I needed to go. And mm-hmm. um, I just felt good. Yeah, and, and you said about having people in, because they'll look at you. I was in, I've been in a coma twice, and you know I'm so glad I didn't see the people who came to visit me. Yeah. <laughs> because they told me later, Girl, you look like you were already gone. You looked horrible. <laughs> da 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 da. I'm so, I'm so glad I didn't see your face. <laughs> yes. Well, I was there because I was somewhere on a cloud where God was ministering to me, having a good time. Yes. And I'm glad I didn't see your negative face. Right. You know, I'm glad I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. But people will do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mm-hmm. poor thing. What can mm-hmm. I do for you? Mm-hmm. You don't need that. No. Okay, so we're going to have to move on. And I want to, you, this is going to have to be really quick about your passion yes what passion did God give you and we're going to be showing that so you don't have you just gonna keep talking and uh my engineer Jarvis he is amazing so he's already got your passion Mm. on and everybody's watching it right now amen okay (laughs) so what is your passion Miss Diva Miss Diva I am wearing my passion right now which is my fashion I feel God really gave me this gift here because I've always been interested in fashion since I was like 15, 16 years old. Yes. Um, but I didn't know what to do with it then. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't until I got the cancer, not feeling beautiful, losing my confidence, my self-esteem, not feeling pretty, you know, feeling like an invalid, disabled. I had to think back what made me feel good then. Right. Because uh, I created my own little fashion show when I was 15 years old. Right. Just that's what I did. And so, I, do, I do the embellishing, like I embellish <laughs> my wonderful dress here with all the pearls. I, I love embellishing but, yes. and, and designing. But so, what you're doing um, is beautiful. Amen. So I, I you know, I, writing the book, writing the book, um, I thought that that was what God wanted me to do right this second. But so I had to pull back. That wasn't what he wanted me to do. He's given me all these other gifts. Mm-hmm. So... I started camouflaging myself to make myself look good so I wouldn't draw attention to myself. So I started sewing again. So I found myself being able to convert one item into many different styles. Right. Which is amazing to me. I said, this is God. This is not me. So the dress that I'm wearing here, you're able to wear this 10 different ways. So what I have is convertible wear which is authentic creative wear for women on the go and it allows them and to it's gorgeous i saw you take that <laughs> dress and have it as an evening dress and this you can do so much with it you can wear it as a hoodie too cute little hoodie but you can do so much with it but it's for the 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 boss lady the woman on the go the like mother our, like our second guest here <laughs> yes 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 mm-hmm. and it allows you to interchange your outfit throughout the day in the moment it gives you convenience it gives you flexibility it helps you to look sexy confident beautiful so when life happens which it will on the way, mm-hmm. you're ready for change. Yes. And it gives you that. So the versatility of having these convertibles. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to let our guests know mm-hmm. when we plan to have a fashion show. Yes. You know, but right now, Miss AC yes. Green. Oh, your website, please. And my website is acwdesigns.com. Say that one more time. acwdesigns.com. That is for... Authentic, creative women, because we are very authentic. I wonder what creative. the AC stood for. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah. Authentic, creative mm. women. Yes. Design. Yes. yes. Mm. Wonderful. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Thank As you. our viewing audi- audience is watching them right now. Yes. They're 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 seeing, and you're probably going to get some calls because people are going <laughs> to say, you know what? How do I do this for me? How do I look like a diva? I mean, you. Yes. We all are. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, I saw so many things there that I need so I can change my wardrobe up a little bit. They're yes. absolutely wonderful. But I want to thank you so much, uh, AC. Yes, ma'am. Green. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a guest. Thank, thank you, you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So now we're going to move in uh, with our, 
Okay, I, I need to just first follow the directions of my production manager here. And we're going to move into a little quick commercial uh, about New Wellness, our sponsor. New Wellness Healthcare is my wonderful sponsor for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. <coughs> and also the segment with Dining Not Healthy with Marie is also being sponsored by uh, New Wellness Healthcare, which uh, is the clinic is located in Marina Del Rey. And the phone number is 310-419-4300. 4300. So I am so happy for our wonderful sponsor for sponsoring this weekly show. And if you would like to be a sponsor, please call us right away at 310-419-4300. Let's move in now to my next guest. And I thank you. You gave a little history briefly. Tell everybody your name and why your name is the way it is. I <laughs> love that. It's beautiful. Mm, thank you for having me, Dr. Lee. My name is Makani. I was born and raised on the Big Island of Hawaii. And my father named me Makani. He used to call me Ka Makani, um, which is for the wind. And he was a shipbuilder. I, my mom teases me that I walk funny because I grew up on boats. Uh, and yeah, what a blessing to, to grow up yes. in the islands. And can I say this real quick? She brought me a <laughs> gift. And we're going to talk about, uh, mm -hmm. as we go into our segment on Dining Out Healthy with Marie, we're going to talk about um, that she grows uh, her own herbs. Mm -hmm. These are edible wow. flowers. Yes. They're all edible. And I want to thank you so much, Makani, mm -hmm. for my gift. Thank you so much for bringing a gift. Well, it's, thank you. It's a blessing, the work that you're doing. And these are in alignment with all the healing, you know, the plant medicine. God gave us everything we need on this planet. And if we just tap into the spearmint and the rosemary and the lavender, the yellow blossom is beautiful for when you have um, a stomach ache. You know, I mean, it's just, mm -hmm. it's very powerful and, it's and smell, delicious. It's smell, it's and, yeah, so delicious. Yeah, I mean, too. we're going to talk about the restaurant on the yeah. second half, on um, the segment of the show on dining out. So right now, I just want to know more about you and mm. who you are and your passion for what you do. And, you know, I brought up in your restaurant about a patient Mm -hmm. And you were telling me what you would do for, uh, even special for my patients. And, you know, I just commend you in your heart mm -hmm. and what you want to do because food is our, is our medicine. It is. And, but you prepare everything with such passion. Thank you. have you. such passion. As I was eating, I mean, I was, it was so wonderful. And mm -hmm. I slept so good. Oh, good. <laughs> you know. So I enjoyed I feeding you. <laughs> It was great. You're welcome. But let's anytime. talk about you. I mm. want to know more about you. You know, my I am so blessed. I wake up every morning, and as I was out on the land picking, you know, the gardenias and lavender, and I was um, practicing Ho'oponopono and saying, you know, thank you. And my prayer every morning is, you know, show me the path. I'm here to serve, to show me the path of love. And my path is really to nourish yes. people. And it's such a gift. You know, I, I, I tease my husband. I said, I do it for free. He says, oh, Makani, don't, you know, don't say that. <laughs> this is what pays the bills, you know. But I, I really enjoy it. It doesn't feel like work because I love it so much, you yes. know. And it allows me to be a mama. You know, my daughter is home. She has a fever today. And I'm able to give her the teas and the homeopathics and, you know, everything all the gifts, all the tools that people have given me along the way, I now get to share. And we know sometimes a fever is not a bad thing. No. You know, that's why you, 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 it's, it's doing the work. Yes. And we just don't want it super high. Yes. I was so grateful that it yeah. only got to 99 mm -hmm. and I kept, and she was scared. And I said, baby, your body knows mm -hmm. what to do. It's so yes. smart, you know. Yes, and it is. Yeah. All you have to do is keep drinking the water and rest and your body knows the and work to do. that's usually what we need most of all is rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Slow down and rest. Yeah. And pray, you know. And it's pray. Like pray yes. and, and be still. It feels like. We live in a culture where everybody wants to go faster, and I want to go slower. <laughs> I was feeding the chickens, and I was thinking, I like being out here with the chickens. And there was, uh, there's all these baby squirrels out there, and a wild rabbit came by, and a butterfly came down and landed on these gorgeous oh. lavender. And I just thought, this is where we're supposed to be, because when we're still, then we're able to receive the divine information. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's powerful. Yeah. So what prompted you to leave Hawaii. And, and tell me, at what age did you leave Hawaii and move to? Oh, gosh, I've been here for four years. I okay. can't believe it. It's very fast. 
And the first year was very hard to be here because I would smile at people or say good morning and they would just look at me like, well, what do you want from me? And I thought, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, and, that's California. And I called my mom. I was in tears. And she said, baby, don't give up your aloha be- just because they, they don't understand, you know, keep smiling, keep spreading that aloha and that love because that's what we need more of. We need more love. And if they don't understand, it's their kuleana. It's OK. You just be you, baby. And I said, thanks, mama. You know, mm-hmm. and um, so now now I understand, you know, why I'm here and that I'm supposed to nourish and feed and, you know, work with everybody of trying to get the farms and gardens back yeah. in in the schools. And I was so excited outside the, the studio. You have all these gorgeous, you know, hydroponics. And I saw dinosaur kale and berries. And I was saying, look, yes, it's happening. <laughs> you know, it's yes. happening. That's the ripple effect. And people are becoming more aware. And they're realizing, wow, if I eat from the farmer's market, if I grow these food, I feel strong and vital. And when I eat things that are processed. You're eating and life. You're eating chemicals. live food. That's Absolutely. what it's all about. Yeah. This is a live body. You yes. know, it's not a corpse. People so why do you want to eat? corpse you know no shouldn't say it that way but I yeah mean, like grass fit <laughs> yeah but it, it's true the truth is rising people are becoming more oh aware. yes yes and it's a really and we had a show time. on what is it dirt the dirt organization mm-hmm. they've been here before as well beautiful mm-hmm. yeah it's just amazing so were you doing this uh type of work in hawaii yes yeah, so i have a burger concept there in kona called ultimate burger And I realized, you know, in 2008, I had lost my daughter, Ava. She was two, um, had a lot of complications with my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Um, And she came to change me forever, you know. And in the midst of being in the hospital with her, um, I realized that it was very divinely orchestrated, you know, that she came into my life um, to burn up my ego, to burn up all the things that weren't serving me anymore. And, Mm -hmm. you know, how can you be of service? You know, that's the work. Yes. And so when I got home, I um, I had to rebuild myself. You know, I, I didn't know that I was going to survive that. But my daughter, Phoenix, uh, helped me rise from the ashes and really sift through all those gems and all those gifts that were given. Because we do. We have all these God-given gifts. Don't waste them. You know, that yeah. was the lesson. That was the teaching. And so I do. I wake up. And when I looked at the Big Island, I realized... We didn't need some highbrow, chef-driven restaurant. We needed something that was going to welcome everybody in the community, you know, from the keiki to the kupuna, every age group. And I was able to source grass-fed beef that was local and the most beautiful tomatoes from Kamuela and lettuce and things that were being grown there. You know, 70% of the food is shipped into the islands. People don't realize, yes. you know. And I was able to really connect with my heroes, the farmers, the ranchers, the fishermen. You know, when we bring a fish in, it is whole and we bless it and we only take one. Mm -hmm. We only take what we're going to sell and it's first come, first serve. There's no waste. You know, it's uh, a beautiful community and we've created that here in Los Angeles. You find your tribe no matter where you are. What are some of the other uh, vegetables that you are getting that's not shipped in? It's really important to know that because yes. I want, like I said, this little segment we're doing right now is mm. about you and the restaurant. We're going to do a, go in depth and show the food yes. on my wonderful segment with my co-host, Maria. Yay. Marie. So I'm just so happy that we're going to be showing the food. But right now, I still want you to sort of talk about the food. And actually, let's tell people grass fed mm. and uh, not, so not just grass fed. But the you know the end result yes. of free range. Absolutely. People will talk about free range, grass fed, mm-hmm. but grass fed and finished. Yes, grass you know, grass finished is grass really finished important. is really important. So Absolutely. I want you to explain to the audience when they're out buying meat mm-hmm. or coming to your place. Yes. you know what? Why is it so important? They need to know grass fed and grass finish i know yes. but this is your restaurant so uh, this is your time yeah well at pono we use grass-fed grass-finished because it just tastes so much better but the you know the health benefits the health. are really incredible mm-hmm. because you are receiving all the omegas you know grass um, very much like green juice has yes. you know the chlorophyll and omegas and it's just it's antioxidant rich. Right. So you feel it. I actually had a woman. And she was bee so vitamins. cute. Yes. Lots of B. Yes. And she was so cute. She said, 
you know, I'm, I'm eating this burger and, and her brain was registering salmon, wild salmon, because she was just getting this incredible dose of omegas that her psychologically it shifted to, well, I'm, I get this when I eat fish. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, isn't this powerful? It's powerful. You know, that you, you feel the difference. She said, I leave and I don't feel sleepy. I I'm energetic. I feel strong. And if I run or do yoga and I come in and I eat this, I feel vital. I feel strong. You will, you know, cause I have uh, several patients that mm. will not will not let me give them a B12 shot because they don't like needles. Oh. And so when they eat grass-fed, grass-finished, mm -hmm. they said it's like I had a B12 shot for the whole month. Beautiful. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, so just powerful? think a person could come and enjoy the food. Yeah. And it's I more fun than a yeah. shot, isn't it? And I tell it? people, when you're enjoying food, you want to enjoy the company yes. that you're with. And we're yeah. going to go over that, uh, Maria and I, yeah. uh, a few in a few minutes. But it's so important that... Mm -hmm. um, we know who you are because when people come to your restaurant, mm -hmm. I want them to know the story. And you have a wonderful manager mm -hmm. um, that we're going to say his name. Yeah, we have we have several wonderful so. managers. We are surrounded with a beautiful Ohana family. You know, people that, um, you know, when I say aloha, you know, how you, would you greet someone? It's it's with the same love and respect that you would receive a child or your mom or you know anybody that you would want to receive with love. Mm -hmm. And that's powerful. And so, yes, the ingredients have to be top notch, but the people preparing them, the people farming them, you know, all the hands, when you think about how powerful that is, how many hands it took to grow that food, to prep that food, to cook it, to serve it. I mean, it comes full circle, right? Yeah. Well, we we're gonna, Maria and I are going to be talking about some of the foods. <laughs> but uh, it's, you know, before we move into that segment, mm -hmm. I just want you to look into the camera. What do you want my listening audience to leave with mm -hmm. from you? What do you want them to leave with? So look right into that camera like you're looking into their eyes. Mm -hmm. What do you want them to leave with? My gift for all of you is is love and aloha and and peace, you know, to really be able to go inside and find that love because when we are able to nurture ourselves first with meditation, with prayer, with food, then we are able to go out and and be of service to everyone in the community. And that is the ripple effect and the global wish I have for for everybody. Oh, thank Bless. you so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being a guest today thank you for on New me. Wellness TV. Mm -hmm. Thank you so oh, much. I thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she calls me Angel, you call me Mama. Okay. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to have to kind of move ahead here. So I'm bringing in my co-host here uh, for Dining Out Healthy, Marie. Marie, we're going to talk about it. Yes, yes, yes. Here she is, that beautiful smile. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Marie, we dined out at this wonderful restaurant. So I'm going to have you talk about the food. Yes. At the restaurant. Yes. Okay. Yes. So Bono let's, Kitchen. Yes, Bono Kitchen. So Pono. let's P O N O. Pono. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. And the food was so, so delicious. So let's just jump right into the food and you're gonna go through and explain it. Okay. Okay, because that's our segment. That is our segment. Yes. Well, thank you, thank you. And what a wonderful experience we had last Thursday afternoon and so warmly greeted from oh, just delicious yumminess all the way in the food. And so we started off, we went with the suggestions of the chef here and our friend Ryan. And so we start off with the wild prawns, which were just scrumptiously delicious food, wood fired cooked in the oven with a delicious citrus sauce. We also, oh, that was so good. It's um, very colorful as well and very, the, the, the visual in itself is delicious. We also had the green lakeshore tempura, green beans which was yummy, delicious as well. And they can also make it without, so you can ask, actually request it to be gluten-free. So it's gluten-free. Gluten so and the one thing the I batter. like about the food there, too, it was not salty. It didn't right. have a lot of sodium, uh, which is one of my major concerns is high sodium. Even though it's, it's um, sea salt or Celtic salt, it's still I don't like to do a lot of sodium. But it was flavorful. 
Oh my goodness, the seasoning and the flavor was just unbelievable. So, oh. and this wonderful oh wrap. Oh my goodness, this is a collard green. And cream. I love collard greens. Collard you know, green I grew up on wrap. collard greens. It's called yes. Ancient Grain, which I love the name Ancient Grain. It had red quinoa, the cannoli beans, sweet potatoes. Uh, delicious and the edible flowers which is added color to the plate was which is you know the visual for me in itself I didn't even want to eat it was so pretty and that's what I said but delicious as well as mm -hmm. going down it was uh, yummy and I highly recommend that anyone who goes to the restaurant to definitely to try that dish yeah but you know it I, I think she was telling me it was something special that she created yes. so um, I, I'm sure it's going to be in the menu soon so I'm just really really thankful for uh, what she had, you know, and uh, as you see now, everyone, because I keep looking at the food because I'm hungry. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about these wonderful sliders oh that goodness. was grass fed and uh, grass finished. Yes, so, we got an array of, try I wanted to try everything because they're just actually so mm -hmm. cute too. You have a little taste. And there was three different ones that we tried and I don't want to badger the names. I know there was uh, the pinku, the pinku, which I believe is the fig, which it had the fig spread and it had roasted hazelnuts and the kale and it was delicious. That was one of the little burgers. Um, we also had um, the Kiwana Crunch, I believe, which was one of the other ones on there. Yes. And it had the blue... Um, Blue homemade blue corn chips, which was delicious, and they were all every bite was so good. Um, and so that was a little picture of everything. And then we had right. a larger one that we got to split. You know, and share. I wanted to say too, because one of her sliders had figs. Yes, I and, said um, figs. and figs are really high in minerals, yes. and uh, not just your minerals. And, and no wonder people leave and they're, they're so energetic because if you put all these wonderful. Um, organic foods together along with grass fed and grass finished and with figs and, and you know it almost like took the place of to me tomato you know and but tomatoes were there too but figs are so high in nutrition and one of the wonderful things that i appreciated was that she also has a gluten-free bun so for those who yes. have any kind of allergies or most definitely prefer not to have the actual bun and the bun was one of the best buns I've ever had gluten-free. It didn't fall apart. It didn't crumble. It was delicious. It was full of flavor. It was light. It wasn't heavy. And so I really appreciate Well, I'm going the there bun. for lunch. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it was she also just had, really good. Oh, my gosh. We had, this, we had everything. We had we did. sweet potato fries. We sampled everything. The other fries. We also had a spectacular dessert, which she shared especially for us. And I was yes. so blessed and honored for that. And it was dairy-free. Yeah, so it was a chocolate. It mix. was uh, wonderful, and I just want to thank you, Marie, for finding this wonderful location. No accidents. No <laughs> accidents, and I'm just so grateful for your hard work and your passion and what you do uh, in this segment for dining out healthy with Dr. Leah Marie. I just thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, we're going to be wrapping up like real soon, and if I could have AC um, to just in 15 seconds, I know that's not a lot of time, to just look at the audience and just leave them that encouraging sentence. I know it's not much time, but, <laughs> but it has to be quick. we got to wrap it's, up the it's show. It's okay. okay. Uh, I just want to say to the audience, just know that your life has purpose mm -hmm. and that you are on a journey. And you are on a journey to find your purpose. So let God use you for his purpose. You will get through it. Just keep the right attitude. You determine your life the minute you get up how your day's going to go. Yes. So remember that. Your attitude will determine your altitude. Draw closer to God and know that he is in your plan. Yes. Thank so you. So I want to thank my guests again. Thank you so much, yes. AC Green. Thank you, my wonderful guest here, Chef, yes. the one and only Chef. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank and uh, my co-host for Dining Out Healthy, mm -hmm. I thank you. And um, join us again next week on uh, New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. And as I always end the show, which I better end real quick here, and it's funny, it's on red. I'm wearing red. Repeat after me. <laughs> I am. I am. So grateful. So grateful. That I am. That I am. A magnet. A magnet. For miracles. For miracles. And feel it. Take it in. Yes. Take it in daily. Yes. Give yes. yourself a yes. hug every day. <laughs> Give yourself a hug. Program yourself like a computer for 
greatness every yes. morning mm -hmm. and watch it happen. Yes. Watch it happen. And whatever happens, it's, no, it's part of your journey. It's part of your journey. Be blessed. Thank yes. you. Join us every Wednesday live at 11 a.m. for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Remember, healthy mind, healthy body. Thank you.